reconversion of war plants to peacetime pursuits is going ahead at full speed. And once more, the automobile factories are humming as huge stamping presses form the bodies of the first automobiles produced since the spring of 1942. Prices on these 1946 models will be slightly higher, but with all priorities lifted, America will be on wheels once more. And there'll soon be plenty of tires, like these synthetics, to replace the threadbare ones now gracing many a car. Yes, soon you'll have that long-awaited refrigerator in the kitchen, along with a new stove. The assembly lines are rolling merrily. If your radio goes dead, cheer up. There'll be a million available by Christmas. Many new inventions will grace store shelves. This cordless iron, for example, eliminates many of the nuisances connected with the family wash. To lighten household labor and make for better living, this is just one of the gadgets due on the market. Store windows are once more blossoming as they did before Pearl Harbor with every gadget dear to Americans. And by the thousands, people are flocking to automobile display rooms for a preview of the new automobiles. 60,000 visited one sales room in five days for a peek. Now we'll have our rewards of victory. Peace, it's wonderful.